Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the artist soon to be known as the planning diva, la planning diva. I only have a couple of days left here on my channel as Four Lizard. Thank you to all of those of you who have supported my channel, name change decision. I have plans to upload a video kind of celebrating this milestone in my YouTube channel journey. I'm going to be uploading that very soon now. I had big plans to make it like my first video of 2023, but unfortunately, I finally caught the coronavirus. Yes, you heard it here first. It is true. Your girl has COVID-19. I've managed to avoid it for the last two years and it just finally got me. It finally got me. I feel like everyone I know ended up catching COVID this time around. Thankfully, it's not too bad. I've been able to kind of manage my way through it, but your girl is tired. She is tired. But I did want to film a video. I felt like this would make me feel better, and I have a very simple video in mind that I just wanted to share. So this is an idea that I've been kind of kicking back and forth for the last couple of weeks. I wanted to share a video on how I set up my coloring page portraits. I've done a couple here and there, and I just kind of wanted to make a whole video about it. So something that I really like doing in my planner is making coloring page portraits. So this is an example of a coloring page portrait. I call them coloring page portraits because the little washi tape around the coloring page it makes it look like a frame. It kind of gives me like a portrait vibe, but honestly this is not a portrait. This is just a coloring page with a little washi tape around the border. I think this is one of the funnest things to do in your planner. And sometimes when I don't have like any plans for the currently page or the monthly overview page in the planner, I end up just covering it all completely with some scrapbook paper and then doing a a coloring page portrait like I did here. So this was the last page in October and then here on this page it should have been like the November overview but I ended up just making this cute little coloring page portrait. And it's very very simple to make these. They're very quick and easy and I feel like it helps me to make good use out of my coloring books. I mean I only have two coloring books right now. I have this mini Pusheen coloring book and I have this a million kawaii cuties coloring book which is a little bit bigger than the Pusheen one. I really enjoy coloring books and I'm always tempted to get more than I need. Especially these larger ones, they do take a long time to get through. Like it does take you quite a bit to color some of these coloring book pages, especially like the more detailed ones. Oh, this one's super cute. And coloring books usually tend to come with like quite a bit of coloring book pages. And I also like the idea of like putting these coloring book pages into my planner so I can see them and enjoy them after they're all colored in. They're just kind of like little works of art that I get to keep in my planner. And I feel like it also helps me to like color because usually I put them in when they're not colored at all. Like I put this one into my planner when it was completely blank and little by little I colored in the page. So that way it's just kind of always at the forefront of my planner and of my mind that I want to color this coloring book page. So today I want to set up two more coloring book portraits, stick them into my planner using scrapbook paper, and then just, yeah, have them in my planner. I think I'm going to do two of these and maybe one or two of the Pusheen coloring book. And I have here my happy memory keeping, like big paper pad, which is going to be perfect because this is already pre-punched. I have it in the brights and in the pastels and I have these two floating around here. And for the mini Pusheen book, I have this scrapbook pad that I got at Joann's. So I think what I'm going to do is I think pick out the two um, pages that I want to pull out of here. And the one unfortunate thing about setting up like um, a coloring book portrait like this is that you do end up losing what's on the back side of the one that you choose to um, use. So I think I want to pull for this one, but that means that I'm going to have to tape over on this side so I won't be able to color this one. And in this case, I don't mind it because I don't, I'm not in complete love with this one. I like this one a lot better. 
And I think I'm going to go for this one here. It's super cute. It's like a cup full of pens. So that means I'm going to lose this one. But again, um, I don't mind losing that one. All right, so I'm going to pull these out. And I think what I'm going to do is just speed you up, put you on fast forward, play some calming music in the background because honestly, I'm not in a huge mood to talk. I'm a little bit low energy and all I'm going to be doing is like cutting, pasting, and using washi tape to frame the borders. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, I have my four coloring book pages I'm gonna use. So um, this one came out pretty easily, but this one I was kind of rough on it. Honestly, I wish all coloring books had that kind of like tear away edge that allows you to rip out pages pretty easily. That's what the Pusheen book has. It has that perforated edge so you can tear out sheets easily. I wish this book had that, but it doesn't. So unfortunately it, get, it does get a little roughed up here on the edges, but for the most part, it was fine. And then I think what I'm gonna do is put this one on this side and then this one on this side here. I kind of don't like that it says dreaming down here, but hopefully the washi tape will cover that up a little bit. So let's do this first. And let me actually just pull my planner out. And let me start with this side. Let's pull for my Tombow adhesive to glue this down. Okay, and I am going to be using this super bright pink glitter washi. I'm not sure if I'll have enough to line the entire thing, but... Mm. Oh yeah, I definitely don't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to choose another washi because I don't have enough of this one. So let's go find another washi. Okay, I decided to use these washies right here. These are really, really cute. Um, these are both Corgi washi tapes. I got both of these in Little Tokyo in Los Angeles at a super cute Japanese bookstore. Very, very cute. And I believe the small business that does these is called Kiwi Hen. But they love doing like Corgi themed things. So I went with these two here. And all I'm gonna do is line the coloring book pages. And there we go. I kind of covered up the holes down here, so I might have to repunch this again. But I think it turned out really, really cute. I love it. The little dreaming quote down here doesn't peek out as much as it used to, and I think it just looks super cute. So let's go ahead and glue down this guy on the other side. And then we'll use this washi tape to line the edge. And then there's the second coloring book page all set up. I think it looks super, super cute. I think the kawaii washi tape goes really well with the kawaii coloring book pages. I can't wait to have these in my planner. So let's set that aside for now. And let's do the pushing pages. So I'm thinking, um, first of all, that this little pack of scrapbook paper is gonna be perfect for these smaller pushing pages. Um, oh, this one's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. Okay, let's see if there's any other ones. Ooh, I like this one too. Maybe I'll do this one for the clouds. 
for the airplane scene because it's kind of like you know in the sky so i think i'll do these two and then for this like fast food one Ooh, I could also use these. Like, I could use this one. That's so cute. I kind of like that one, too. I could either use that that one with the clouds or this one. I kind of like the ones with the clouds, so we'll, we'll switch that one out. And then for the fast food, maybe the stars. Ooh, I like these dots as well. That's cute. And then, let's see. green one. I kind of do like this one with the dots. Although honestly, it might be hard to color on this textured surface now that I think about it. So I might not use that one. Maybe the stars. Like that one's cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the stars for this one. I'm going to glue it down first and then cut it. go get my paper trimmer okay have my paper trimmer and my big power punch so let's trim this so cute So with these, because they're smaller, I'll probably like glue them onto a page. So I'm not gonna put anything on the back here. I think they turned out really, really cute. So let me punch this page. Okay, perfect. And there we have it. That is the completed project. Those are my coloring book portraits all set up. So what I'll do with this is now um, I can just tuck this in to like where I currently am. So currently in the month of January here, I made this sticker collage from a bunch of stickers I picked up on our road trip to Sedona. So usually with these coloring book pages, I'll just kind of tuck them into the beginning or the end of the month and work on them throughout the months. Okay, now I'm wondering what to do with these. At first, I thought of potentially just, you know, gluing them into the planner at some point. Like I could usually, usually with things like this, I like putting them on like the currently page. Like I could put this here. But then I thought, what if I just clip them in? Like I can punch them and clip them in into my planner. Or I could tuck them into a folder. The thing with tucking them into a folder though is I don't want them to get lost, you know? Out of sight, out of mind. Like if I tuck them into here, then they might I might forget about them. But I think that's gonna be the option for now. I think I might just tuck them into here and then hopefully I don't forget about them. But anyways, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed how I set up my coloring page portraits. I think it turned out really, really cute and I can't wait to get to coloring these couple of coloring book pages. I think coloring books are just so fun and they're just an easy way to create like a little masterpiece and I think they're just really fun to include in your planners for a little pop of color and, and some nice artwork. Anyways, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any coloring books, and if so, how do you use them? Do you color often? Let me know, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.